Mr. Joe Dumars, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. We're really excited. I, I just want to start with the title that we just laid out. You were appointed to the position in May. You oversee the development mm -hmm. of rules, how those rules are interpreted, conduct, discipline, all the other policies and procedures <laughs> of the operation of the game. There's an irony in, in the Pistons and that, but <laughs> sounds like a lot. Why did you yeah. take this position? Well, I think, first of all, it's a great job. It's a great position to be in. Secondly, the reason why I'm like is because you get to shape and touch all of the game. And it's, I think my past experiences as a former player and front office exec, uh, it kind of made me uniquely qualified to step into this role really uh, with an easy transition. Mm. How do you think that that was an easier transition for you? Just knowing, knowing the subject. You know, when I walked in here, uh, back in May, everything that we were talking about in here, I've lived it for the last 20, 30 years. So I understood it from a different lens, Monica. I understood it from the player lens and executive lens. Uh, you know, I'm just looking at it now from the league office lens, but the subject matter is the exact same things I've been dealing with for the last couple of decades. And so that's that's the only reason I said it made it easy. It's not an easy job, mm. but but knowing the subject matter, it, it's not like you have to learn something that you, you know nothing about when you step into this. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, in July, yeah. the Board of Governors approved a harsher penalty when a defender intentionally commits a transition take foul, right? So beyond the take mm -hmm. foul, if you just had a magic wand and you could go poof, make something a little bit different about the way the games are played. What else would you change? What else are you looking at here? I, I, would, I would try to take everything out of the game that's not about the game, mm. whether it's decorum, whether it's the transition take file, whether it's um, non-basketball moves. I, I, I just, look, when the game is clean, we have the best athletes in the world. The mm. NBA has the most uh, incredible athletes in the world. And as long as we keep the game clean from a league standpoint and it's all about the play, then I think everyone's going to be happy. So I just think keeping the game clean and allowing people to see how incredible these guys are. Well, I can't have you here and not say Detroit <laughs> basketball. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.